Hello everyone, it is Sunday, September 23rd, in the year of our Lord 2012. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always, wicked awesome, and a great way to start the week, and of course a great way to start the day, KJ Lloyd Organa Gold Coffee, and there's your address, kjloyd.organogold.com. She's a 50 style uh, pinup model, she's a poet and she knows it. Twice published, and also a very good friend of mine, and a future aspiring actress. Awesome, awesome lady. And uh, I'm getting tired, so bear with me. My man Rob Johnson, computer geek, CompuTune, check it out. There's your, there's your info. And. Uh, He's helped me personally with my computer, so if you need computer needs, he will hook you up. And then, of course, down here in Yeha, Texas, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma, we got my man Wally Fortier, Wally Lu Wally's aluminum shaping process. Not Wally's ass sculpting process, though he probably wouldn't mind if he was single, and she was hot. Makes all kinds of aluminum art, facebook.com slash waspa. That's W-A-S-P-A-A. -A. Check it out, folks. I'm serious. Impressive stuff. And finally, my man Tom Walk, general manager of Stevens Rubber Stamp and Sign Company, down here in Yeha, Texas, where men are men, the bulls run scared. Yippers is your info. He makes all kinds of stuff, folks. He really does. And then, of course, you gotta check out the ravel.com. That's T H E R A B E L dot com for my good friends Johnny and his better half Emma Montgomery. And of course, check out Mustang Growing Company. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And now uh, speaking of Oklahoma, they went down. <laughs> Kansas State whooped that ass today. So Oklahoma, your season's done. Anyway, um, speaking of beer, boy, am I parched. This will help me wake up. Mm -mm -mm. Sam Adams Oktoberfest, 5.4, 5.3%. Of wicked awesomeness. And uh, where is my beer opening apparatus? There it is. Second, I thought I misplaced my beer opening apparatus. That would have been devastating. Right, Justin Dimmit? Damn right, Dr. B. There you go, Justin. There's a good pop for you. 45 degree angle, as always, right over the keyboard. My man, Justin Dimmit. I busted his chops one day, said he was a Yankees fan. Yeah, he's about as far from a Yankees fan as it gets. But he is a Colts fan. And a damn good man. A fellow Masonic brother. And, uh, always a pleasure to call him out on this here show. Because, see, he shares my show each and every day. And is a, probably my number one fan. Not in a misery, Kathy Bates type of way either. Cheers and beers to all of yours. They say in Germany, uh, Prost, and I almost screwed it up. Or as they say in Japan, Kampai. Ah. With that said, how about some birthday shout outs? Right off the bat, an awesome lady I have yet to meet in person. And I hope to someday. She doesn't live very far away from me. In fact, she lives down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Western Louisiana. That would be the Honorable Cheryl Petjes. And I hope I pronounced that right. I think I did last time. Cheryl, see, now, she is our Mafia's War, Mafia War Family Strays Fight United, uh, the godmother. She's the godmother of our own Mafia Wars family on the old Facebook and her and her lesser half are still phenomenal, man, Dave. He's an awesome guy. Dave, a shout-out to you, my man. Hope you're doing well. A big cheers and beers to both of you. Dave, spoil your lady. It's her birthday. She deserves it. And you're a good man. And Cheryl, you are a damn good lady, too. So, to the Petrus family, I salute you. And happy birthday, Cheryl. A big cheers and beers for both of you. Ah. Next on the list. 
a wonderful lady I have yet to meet in person. She lives up in northern Texas, otherwise known as Oklahoma. Michelle Culp. Happy birthday to you. I've talked to her on the old Facebook for more than two and a half years now. See, she's a good friend of my buddy, uh, Bill Bechet. What up, Bill? And, uh, met her. They actually knew each other in California, the land of fruits and nuts. And they all moved to Oklahoma. Because Oklahoma's a good state. It really is. But, uh, Michelle, happy birthday, my friend. I hope you're doing well. I know I'm doing well. And, uh. We played a lot of the old Facebook apps together. Keep playing them. I know I do. But uh, celebrate well and enjoy, my friend. Have a wicked awesome day. Next on the list. Now, here's a lovely lady I haven't heard from in a long time. I haven't seen her in over 20 years. My friend, Cara Breath. Happy birthday to you. Hope you're doing well. Last time I saw you, you were stunningly gorgeous. And I'm sure you still are now. But uh, last the pictures I saw look like you are. But I hope you're doing well. hope you remember me. You know, we all hung out in good old Vineyard Haven back in the day. Remember Alicia Geddes. That's where I met you was through her. I wish she had a Facebook. I'd love to hear from her. Good old Alicia, or as I always called her Alicia, because she was always bumming stuff. Good lady, though. But Kara, happy birthday. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Party hard and enjoy. Celebrate like it's 1969 minus the acid. Next on the list, the lovely Christina Pope. Happy birthday to you, my dear. Hope you're doing well. I know you and uh, your lesser half are still awesome new hubby, Chuck Pope Jr. You guys living in Okinawa. Met you guys in Florida because you know what I did, folks. April 13th in the year of our Lord 2012. Christina and Chuck got married and it was Reverend Dr. B right here that performed that wedding ceremony and it was truly an honor and a privilege to do so and uh, Chuck and Christina have been on this here show back on April 13th they were on the show had to bring the guests of honor absolutely I hope you guys are doing well always a pleasure hearing from you love playing the song pop with you too yup I do squeeze me Christina, have a wicked awesome birthday. Celebrate celebrate well and enjoy. And Chuck, spoil the shit out of her, brother. She did. Mm, excuse me. She deserves it. Alrighty. And there's our birthdays. How about some additional shout outs? The lovely Darlene Pope and her awesome sister, Marlene Vertog. Marlene and Darlene, you two ladies are absolutely phenomenal. And uh, always a pleasure chatting with you. I know you watch the show whenever possible. And I know you two ladies love the old song pop. Darlene, you just got into it. So come on. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Because I will play anybody and everybody. And I got a few people whooping my butt this week. But that's okay. I don't mind. Because I'm learning a lot of music. And uh, Marlene knows that. I bring out the obscure, the unique, the different. Marlene... And Darlene, wait till you hear the song I play today, because we all know Sunday is Gospel Day, so it's going to be something unique. Cheers and beers to both of you phenomenal ladies, and you have a wicked awesome day. Or night, or whatever have you. How about a shout out to my man, Chuck Pope Sr. Chuck, what's going on, brother? Haven't heard from you in a while, but... uh. I know you're busy as a dyke in a hardware store, as the late great George Carlin would say. But you are getting even more professionally developed in your life. Going to a professional development class for like eight weeks in Alabama, otherwise known as Eastern Mississippi. Alabama! Number one football team in the country. I gotta give them that. Nothing wrong with that. I don't mind that. I wish it was Boston College, but... That ain't gonna happen. But Chuck, hope you get to watch the show. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Miss you, bud. And uh, I know you're gonna kick ass, take names, and kill commies from mommy while you're getting <laughs> reblued and professional. And finally, how about a big shout out to my man Jeff Fontaine? Always a pleasure chatting with you. Good talking to you on the phone tonight. And uh, 
Can't wait to see you again down the road. It's been way too long. I worked with Jeff in good old Cali, California, otherwise known as Southern Oregon. And Jeff, like me, is from Massachusetts, the greatest state in America. Remember, without Massachusetts, there wouldn't be a U.S. of A. Revolution, baby. It all started there. That's right. We said, we don't want these taxes anymore. And it's funny because Massachusetts is tax Massachusetts nowadays. Go figure. But anyway, Jeff, you're going to get your babe of the day as requested. We are, I mean, I know you did say that your better half Maria is your number one babe. It just as my beloved Farah is my number one babe. But I had to convince you. I said, hey, pick a baby of the day. And folks, if you're all listening, you put in the comment section below, whether on the old YouTube or on the old Facebook, facebook.com slash redbosox, youtube.com slash redbosox. That's R-E-D-B-O-S-O-X. And, uh, you tell me who you want to see as the babe of the day, and I will hook you up. No problemo. All right. How about some additional celebrity birthdays? There's a lot of them. On this day in 1959, Jason Alexander was born. On this day in 1930, the late, great Ray Charles was born. Passed away in 2004 at the age of 73. On this day in 1949, the boss was born. Bruce Springsteen. On this day in 1920, been an actor for like 80 years. Mickey Rooney. He's 92 today. Still going strong. Looks like death and has for years, but the little man's still going strong. He's like five foot two. Little old guys do live a long time most of the time. On this day in 1974, Matt Hardy of the Hardy Boys. Wrestling. Wrestling. He's 38 today. Wow. On this day in 1984, Matt Kemp, Dodger Badasses, was born. 28 years old today. On this day, 1926, sadly passed away at the age of 40, 41 years old, John Coltrane, one of the baddest jazz men, sax men ever. Alto sax, if I'm not mistaken. What a smooth sound that man had. On this day, 1985, Chris Johnson, the former badass Tennessee Titan running back who as soon as he got paid, as he should have gotten paid and deserved it, all of a sudden has disappeared and it's sickening Ugh, I got him on like two or three fantasy teams he's killing me on this day 1945 Paul Peterson from the Donna Reed show and also did a some surf songs he is 67 now and on this day 1943 two legends were born Julio Glacius and Marty Schottenheimer that's right Marty Schottenheimer, badass NFL coach, and Julio Iglesias, badass Mexican singer. All right, how about some rant, um, additional facts of the day? On this day in 1991, many a man cried because Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines erupted. Oh, what a horrible day. On this day in 1990, PBS, the public broadcasting system, began the 11-hour miniseries on the Civil War. If I'm not mistaken, that's Ken Burns' The Civil War. On this day in 1988, though tainted now, Jose Canseco became Major League Baseball's first 40-40 man. He ended up stealing 42, uh, 40 bases and hitting 42 home runs that year. On this day in 1986, Congress picked the rose as the U.S. national flower. My wife didn't get any input on that. She doesn't like roses. It was Congress who decided that. Bastards. On this day in 1969, Marcus Welby, MB, MD, premiered on NBC. If I'm not mistaken, that show lasted for nine seasons. On a day in 1962, and I didn't know this, ABC TV's first color series premiered. What was it? The Jetsons. How about that? The Jetsons was ABC's first color TV series. On a day in 1961, the first movie to become a TV series aired. How to Marry a Millionaire. Hmm, I wonder. Go find her, I guess. On this day in 1957, WTIC Channel 61, Hartford, Connecticut, begins broadcasting. There was CBS affiliate, and if I'm not mistaken, they're now a Fox affiliate. On this day in 1952, the, I didn't know this one either. The first closed pay circuit TV telecast of a sports event occurred. 60 years ago today. See, 
Pay-per-view is not a new concept. Closed circuit TV, I remember that stuff. I just didn't know it had been around since 1952. Wow. And finally, a hundred years ago today, the first Keystone Cops film aired. Cohen collects a debt. Max Sennett directed film. Max Sennett was a very famous director back in the day. And we do have one more uh, celebrity birthday. The late, great Kublai Khan, born on this day at 1215. Passed away in, in 1294. With that said, how about we get to the TV episode of the day. And this classic Twilight Zone episode is Season 1, episode number 22. And this, I mean, this one really is a classic. The monsters are due on Maple Street, folks. March 4th, 1960. Inexplicable events caused the residents of Quiet Maple Street to erupt into rioting. The residents suspect an alien invasion has occurred. If so, where are the alien monsters? This, this, I'm telling you, this episode was really one of the more famous Twilight Zone episodes. The neighborhood basically, it's a peaceful neighborhood, and they just go insane, crazy, start accusing each other of all kinds of stuff. You gotta see it to believe it. Absolutely phenomenal episode. So, with that said, how about we get to my man Jeff Fontaine's request for the babe of the day, and it is the absolutely stunningly gorgeous um, Sophia Vergara. She was actually born, hard to believe, born July 10th, 1972. She is 40 years old, and folks... She is absolutely smoking wicked hot. Okay. Jeff, I gotta say, a good choice indeed. She's from Colombia. The country of Colombia. Barranquilla, Colombia. That's about what she looks like nowadays. I'm sure those are fake, but hey, I wouldn't kick her out of bed for eating crackers. If I was single, of course. Oh, I wish I could be that lay. <laughs> wow. Now see, showing off the baby today means we should have no kids around. Oh, what the heck. That is not nudity, folks. There's a thong. That is a really nice ass. Wow. Incredible, incredible, incredibly gorgeous young lady. Trying to find the goodies. Oh, there we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dr. B gives it two thumbs up. No doubt about that. What do you think, folks? If she ain't hot, I don't know what is. And one more for good measure. <whistles> mm -mm -mm. Yowza. Oh, hell. I remember there. Ah, what the heck. We're showing them off heavy today, folks. But I'm sure not many complaints out there about this one. If she ain't a babe... Then I don't know what is. Okay. With that said, I think it's time we get to the, the song of the day. And we need some churching up after looking over all that, don't we? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. We sure do. So, we are going to do that. And we are taking it all the way back to 1927 for this one. Bear with it because... It is a rough sounding song as far as uh, recording quality. Now I thought the uh, Carter family did the original Will the Circle Be Unbroken. Actually they did a song called Can the Circle Be Unbroken. I don't know if this is the original or not. Probably not. Who knows? It could be. This is Will the Circle Be Unbroken by Reverend M.L. Gibson. I don't even know what 
the M and L stand for? I don't think it's Martin Luther, though it could be. Never know. It's from 1927. This song is 85 years old, folks. Here you go. Check it out. Let me know what you think. The funny thing is, with this song, there was a friend of mine who actually cleaned it up. I it's actually rougher sounding than this. The uh, Red Sox, I still love you, but, you know, the Yankees do suck. But they're in first place. Jackasses. Folks, you can watch this one during the halftime of your favorite football game. My predictions. The, the Patriots will beat the Ravens. They better. And for my good friend Justin Dimmitt, and all you Colts fans out there, the lovely little Jessica, the awesome Chris and Cap, Chris and uh, his better half, Jackie, and my man Stevie Gonads, and his better half, Vanessa. And my man Cody Parks. They are all Colts fans. And I think the Colts are going to win their game. They're playing the Jaguars. What do you expect? Squeeze me. And for my man Wally Fortier, I did pick San Diego to beat Atlanta on my football field. I'm one of the few that did. What guts I have. Only because it's in San Diego. I got the Bears over the Rams. I got the Bills over the Browns in Cleveland. I actually got Dallas over Tampa Bay. I got the Jets over Miami. Although I'd love to see Miami beat the Jets, of course. San Fran over Minnesota, no surprise. The Saints are going to win because they're playing the Chiefs, who suck even more. I got Washington over Cincinnati, Detroit over Tennessee, not much of a surprise there. Arizona over Philly. Ooh, I was impressed with that defense. They beat my Patriots, bastards. I do have Denver at home beating Houston. I do have the Squealers over Oakland. My Patriots over the Ravens. And the Packers over Seattle tomorrow night, despite the fact that it's in Seattle. Which has the quote-unquote 12th man. Sorry, but the Packers are just that damn good and can overcome that. In fact, I think they're the second best team in the NFC behind those damn 49ers, which my friend Bill Boucher loves. All right, folks. No, I cannot slam beer like my friend Raina can. And Justin, you got to see the video. You know what I'm talking about. You were impressed. I was impressed. I am not man enough to slam beer. No, I just don't bother. Empty as the brain cells of an average Yankee fan. That's how this here glass is. Alright, folks, it's time to make like a fetus and head out. So, everybody, take care. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. It might spray you, drink, or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumber than being a Yankees fan. And what's dumber than that is rooting for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli. Oh, I'm as good as Tom Brady, Manning, or men slapping women. Things like that are just plain stupid. And remember, Justin, and all you Manning fans out there, Eli and Peyton Manning combined three Super Bowl rings. Tom Brady, 
three Super Bowl rings. He's as good as both of them put together. That's all I got. I'll see you all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Have a wicked awesome night day. Bye-bye. Bye. Go Patriots.